The United States of America is made up of 50 states. You can tell by the number of stars on our flag. The country started with only 13 rebellious colonies, and these colonies broke away from England in 1776. From then on, it has grown steadily, one state after the other admitted to the Union to get us to 50. The latest inclusion is Hawaii, which became a state in 1959. But you know, not all proposed states throughout American history were accepted, so come along as I tell you about the six states that never became states. The Almost States of America. This video is brought to you by my Patreon. So most of y'all probably already know what Patreon is, a platform where audiences can financially support their favorite creators online. Making money online and having a sustainable income from online content creation can be hard, so Patreon allows creators like yours truly to receive direct support from their viewers, like you. I've been making educational videos on YouTube for over two years now. You see, I graduated from university in 2020, and as I'm sure you remember, that wasn't a very fun time. So I started making YouTube videos to fill my time and keep me from going crazy. And the growth and positive response to my channel has been really overwhelming. You may have seen me already mention my Patreon in my last few videos, and I already have two patrons, Brian and Peter. I just want to take a second to shout them out specifically as my first patrons. It means a lot. So there are three tiers on the page, Baron, Earl, and Duke, each with different perks available. So if you want to support me, or if you want some of the perks that come with the page, you can click the link in the description, or go to the address you see on screen right now. And if you are unable or unwilling, that's totally fine. The best support I receive from you is subscribing, liking, commenting, and just watching my videos. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Thanks a lot. Now this video will not be about possible 51st states, so DC, Puerto Rico, or any other current territories won't be discussed. This video is also not about current secession plans or plans to break up states, so the states of Lincoln and Jefferson won't be discussed either because they have current support. And lastly, there have been dozens of possible states throughout American history. If I tried to go over all of them, this video would be too long. So these are my six favorite ones. Let's go chronologically, starting before the United States even became the United States, with Charlatina. In the 1750s, as in most other periods of history, the English and French were at war. In Europe, they called this conflict the Seven Years' War, but here in North America, it is remembered as the French and Indian War. Well, we won't go into the specifics here, but long story short, the English won. As a consequence, all of France's North American territory was ceded to England and Spain. This area below the Great Lakes and above the Ohio River became known as the Northwest Territory. Some Brits thought it would be best to settle the area, to keep the French out and intimidate the local native peoples. They suggested sending British and especially Irish prisoners to the area to colonize it. Charlatina had some support, but in the end, old King Georgie rejected the plan. He issued the Royal Proclamation of 1763, barring American colonists from settling west of the Appalachians. Next up we have Transylvania. No, not that Transylvania. No, no, no. This one in Kentucky, or where Kentucky will be. It may seem kind of strange that these places have the same name, but Sylvania simply means wooded area. So Transylvania means through the woods. This area right here was owned by the Cherokee Indians. The Transylvania Company bought the land in 1775. Daniel Boone, a land surveyor, was hired by the company to survey and settle the land. So he and his party set up a town on the Kentucky River called Boonesboro, which was to be the capital of a new colony called Transylvania. The new Transylvania government sent a representative to the Continental Congress that year, but their bid to become their own territory was rejected, especially by Virginia and North Carolina, who already had claims on that land. And in 1778, the Virginia General Assembly declared the Transylvania colony illegal. The land eventually became part of Kentucky in 1792. Next up, we have Franklin. So after the Revolutionary War, the newly formed United States was in debt. To help, North Carolina voted to give their territory west of the Appalachians to Congress. While the gesture was appreciated, the Congress had little interest in the land, probably because it was difficult to administer. 
frontiersmen who lived in the area, who didn't feel well represented by North Carolina anyway, thought this would be a good time to petition Congress for statehood. This actually made sense, as the area, because of its geographic isolation, was basically self-governing anyway. The petition almost passed with seven states voting in favor, but this wasn't the two-thirds majority needed to admit a new state, so the idea failed. The residents of Franklin convened to discuss their options. They decided to contact their namesake, Benjamin Franklin, who, remember, was still very much alive. He sent a polite letter back, but offered no support. Not to be deterred, the Franconians... Franklonians? Franklinites? The Franklinites decided, rather than become a part of North Carolina again, to declare independence. This didn't last too long, as running an independent country in the Wild West with European empires and American Indians to worry about proved difficult. When they tried to join the Spanish Empire in 1788, no, really, they tried to do that. The North Carolina militia marched in, arrested the governor, and took control of the territory. The area that would have become Franklin eventually became part of Tennessee. Next, we have Edelsverein. In the 1840s, the German Confederation was in financial trouble. So, a group of 21 noblemen gathered in the castle of one Adolf, the Duke of Nassau, who would later become Grand Duke of Luxembourg. They hashed out a plan to start a new German land somewhere in the American West. They decided on Texas, which at this point was an independent republic. These German nobles purchased this land from the Republic of Texas. But while the area was claimed by Texas, it was really controlled, at least mostly, by the Comanche Indians. The Comanche were known to be, uh, not super welcoming to Europeans, and were pretty hardcore about it. Surprisingly, though, they seemed to get on pretty well with the Germans. Edelsverein and the Penateca Comanche signed a treaty that seemed to have been followed by both parties. German immigration to Adelsverein ended in 1853, due to the large amount of debt the Adelsverein society was under. It turns out, transporting large amounts of Germans across the Atlantic was more expensive than they had thought. And in the aftermath of the Mexican-American War, Texas became part of the Union. So the dream of a German state in the heart of Texas ended. Next we have the state of Deseret. In the 1820s in New York, a young man named Joseph Smith was, allegedly, visited by the angel Moroni and shown a set of golden plates. On these plates were written a story, a story of ancient Israelites sailing to the Americas and of Jesus visiting them after his crucifixion. This new religious movement was, of course, called Mormonism. Joseph Smith's ideas attracted many followers and detractors alike. And due to this religious persecution, the Mormons decided to move west. But then, in 1844, Joseph Smith was killed by an angry mob, and the leadership of the Mormon church passed to Brigham Young. Brigham Young decided to move the Mormons even further west, to the Salt Lake City Basin. When they got there, Young claimed a very large tract of land that included current-day Nevada, Utah, Arizona, and much of Southern California. This area was not actually controlled by the United States at the time. It was instead controlled by Mexico. But again, after the Mexican-American War, the territory became American. So Brigham Young went to Congress and petitioned for the Mormon land of Deseret to become a state. But the American Congress and the American people didn't much like or trust the Mormons. And they especially didn't approve of the polygamy that the Mormons practiced. Because of this, the proposal was rejected. Later, in the 1890s, the Mormons stopped practicing polygamy, or at least stopped practicing it openly. This change was enough for the U.S. Congress to agree to make the Mormon territory a state. Of course, they made it smaller, and they rejected the name Deseret, a name found in the Book of Mormon, instead going with Utah, named for the Ute Indian tribe. Lastly, we have Texlahoma, and by the name I know you know where it is. In the early 20th century, there was a new toy that was all the rage, the automobile. These automobiles needed roads to be useful, and so local governments started building these roads. But rural areas, like for instance Oklahoma and northern Texas, were left out. The governments were spending their time and money building roads in cities and more populated areas. 
So some of the citizens of this area decided they ought to make their own state. By the 1930s, the plan was pretty popular, even amongst politicians. A.P. Seitz, the de facto leader of the Texlahoma movement, claimed that 65% of politicians agreed with his plan. Though we don't really know where he got these numbers. One of these was John Nance Garner, the vice president at the time, though he was known for supporting strange initiatives. The plan never went through, of course, partly due to the fact that Texans, even ones ignored by their representatives, still like being Texans. So here are the six almost states of America. Well, the six that I talked about. There are others, and maybe I'll do another video talking about them in the future. But for now, thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, my Patreon is in the description. And if not, please like and subscribe. Bye!